like to call to order the regular meeting of the Mayor and Board of Trustees for the Village of Burr Ridge. It is March 9th. Our first order of business, of course, is our Pledge of Allegiance. And tonight, we'll be led uh, by someone who's been here before, uh, Burr Ridge Middle School, uh, Nicole Cosney. She's, uh, she's uh, her favorite subject is math, and she's in a program called LEAP, which is a gifted uh, children's program or school program. Uh, not at all surprising, uh, based on my conversation with her earlier. Uh, she, outside of school activities are she participates in dance and snowboarding, which she's even done in Colorado. And uh, she, her hobbies are drawing, making crafts. And she has the most patriotic outfit I've ever yeah. seen. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, to, uh, to lead us fittingly in the Pledge of Allegiance. Will you please? Lead us? All right, how you doing? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Trustee Francis. Here. Trustee Grasso. Here. Trustee Paveza. Here. Trustee Bolas. Here. Trustee Ruzan. Here. Trustee Maneri. Mayor Strom. Here. Uh, the first order of business is the audience portion. Are there any, uh, any uh, residents or non residents who would like to join us uh, or to address the board at this time? Okay, seeing no one, uh, move on to uh, the consent agenda. The uh, all items uh, listed with an asterisk, of course, are Consider routine by the village board. It will be, it will, it will be enacted by one motion. Uh, there will be no separate discussion of these items unless the board member assistance or request which item, which event the item uh, will be removed from the consent agenda. It is uh, it looks like, but I'll go to check. Okay, thanks. Uh, sorry, public hearing first. Um, no, you can do the consent agenda first. Okay. Mike is now on. Uh, minutes, 5A, uh, approval of regular board meeting of February 23rd, 2015. 5B, receive and file uh, Veterans uh, Memorial Committee meeting of January 28th, 2015. Uh, 5C, receive and file draft Economic Development Plan Committee meeting of March 3rd, 2015. Under ordinances, we have 6B, Approval of an ordinance uh, rezoning properties from the R1 single family residential district to R2A single family residential district pursuant to the Village of Burbage zoning ordinance number Z05 2015 located Oak Knoll and Doogie Lane. Under resolutions, we have 7A adoption of resolution uh, authorizing local agency agreement between the Illinois Department of Transportation, otherwise known as IDOT, and the Village of Burbage uh, for the utilization of state and federal funds. Under considerations, we have 8B, approval of employment training agreement for patrol officer Timothy Lesniak. 8C, approval of proclamation honoring uh, Minard Dusty Harold Hansen on the occasion of his 100th birthday on April 6, 2015. I believe he's located at, uh, at King Bruvar. Uh, 8D, approval of vendor list in the amount of $174,149.28 for all funds, plus $236,139.60 for payroll, for a grand total of $410,288.88, which includes a special expenditure of $32,528.80 to National Trek Services for the 2014-15 wireless project. May I have a motion to approve the following items on the consent agenda? That would be 5A, 5B, 5C, 6B, 7A, 8B, 8C, and 8D. May I have a motion to approve those? So moved. Second. <laughs> Roll call, please. Trustee Grasso? Yes. Trustee Ruzak? Yes. Trustee Bolas? Yes. Trustee Baveza? Yes. Trustee Francis? Yes. Okay, let's move on to ordinances. Uh, we're going to open up with the, uh, the public hearing first uh, for the uh, an amendment to annexation agreement, Meadowbrook Place subdivision, uh, located, you might know, on Route 83 there. 
Thank you. Meadowbrook Place is a seven-lot subdivision located on Meadowbrook Drive. It was approved in 2007 by the village. Uh, they started mass grading the property, did not get very far when the original developer uh, defaulted on the project. Uh, they, uh, after the original deadline was passed, the uh, bank took over the property and asked for extensions of the improvement deadline as they have been searching for a developer to purchase the property and the plat from them and to finish or continue and finish the development. Uh, their last extension expired on March 1st of this year. They're asking for another one-year extension with the option of uh, seeking a second one-year extension. They have agreed to pay the uh, $10,000 fee that the subdivision ordinance establishes for for such extensions. They have paid that in the past and they'll pay that again for these extensions if approved by the village board. Uh, the property is in good condition, so from the village's perspective, it's fine to sit in its current condition for as long as uh, it needs to. Um, <clears throat> so uh, we're recommending that uh, that the ordinance be approved, which is the next item on the agenda. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Is the bank seeking a buyer? Is that why they yes. continue? That's yes. And last year they they had one under contract, and it but it didn't go through. That's been a uh, interesting project all these years. And, and at the time, they'll have to extend the water main also, right, the developer? That's correct. They, the, uh, uh, whoever develops this subdivision will have to pick up the water main at the north end of Meadowbrook Drive and bring it down. Actually, we're, we're doing that project, and they, they've contributed to that. Right, Paul? Well, they, uh, they have to go across their frontage, and that will link to the back of the subdivision into the master club. Anyone else? I'll make a motion to approve the No, we need to close the hearing. You have to need to close the hearing first. Need a motion to close the hearing. I'd like to make a motion to close the public hearing. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Question on the motion. Did we ask the audience if anybody wanted to speak? I actually I, we had not yet. It is a public hearing. I withdraw my motion to close the public hearing. <laughs> you know, you have to, there's a motion in a second. It just sits there. You can ask the public if there's okay. any, any additional comments. Yeah, the, anyone, like, anyone from the audience would like to address uh, the board this time regarding this annexation? Okay. Seeing no one, we'll go back to the motion. Thank you. Uh, and uh, and we've got a motion in a second. And the roll call, or just a, all those in favor? I believe all Roll call. Favor. Trustee Grasso? Yes. Trustee Bolas? Yes. Trustee Ruzak? Yes. Trustee Paveza? Yes. Trustee Francis? Yes. I will. Then motion passes. 6A. 6A, consideration of ordinance authorizing a second amendment to annexation agreement. Meadowbrook Place subdivision. And the uh, now open for discussion, board members. Any further discussion on the topic? Um, Steve, how do we collect the ten thousand dollars before we give them any type of uh, extension? They pay the ten thousand dollars to the village. That's correct. And we will pay, and we'll just collect one year at a time, or we collect one, both one years? year at a time. Hopefully, they won't need it a second one. But if they do, um, you know, they, there's a certain date uh, that'll be in the agreement. Uh, that they will be required to pay the uh, additional amount. But they've been very good up till now. It's been several years and they've always paid. Okay. I'd like to make a motion to pass the ordinance authorizing the Second Amendment to Annexation Agreement. Second. 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 You have a second? Okay, roll call, please. Trustee Grasso? Yes. Trustee Bolas? Yes. Trustee Ruzak? Yes. Trustee Paveza? Yes. Trustee uh, Francis? Yes. 5 0. Motion passes 5 0. What, what's the acreage on that, by the way? What, 
What's the acreage on that property? Uh, it's a uh, it's seven lots, um, it's four or five acres. I don't I'm not, I don't have the exact number. Seven, seven lots plus a cul-de-sac street plus a detention out lot. Great. Thank you. Under considerations, uh, 8A, consideration of recommendation to award contract for the 2015 road program. Paul May. Good evening. Before you for consideration this evening is uh, the 2015 road program. This is our largest capital uh, program each year. We're consisting generally of repairs to the pavement driving surface, milling and overlaying the existing pavement, patching areas of deteriorated base, uh, curb and gutter repair and, uh, and replacement, uh, drainage structure adjustment and repair, uh, and other drainage improvements along ditch lines. The engineering division has solicited bids publicly for this project. Uh, bids have been received from five bidders. Uh, the low, low bid this year is has been submitted by Central Blacktop in the amount of six hundred twenty-eight thousand dollars, three hundred thirty-seven dollars. Uh, the work proposed for this year is in the High Grove Industrial Park, Wildwood Subdivision, Tower Drive, and Dugshire Court. We have evaluated the bids that have been submitted uh, in order to identify if there are any errors or, omi or omissions. We have not identified any. Uh, the contractor certificates and bid bonds are in order as well as their pre-qualification from IDOT. And so the uh, engineering staff is recommending that the contract be awarded, uh, unit price contract to Central Blacktop in the amount of $628,337 at this time. If there's any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Board members, any questions on this? Trustee Grasso? Yes, um, Paul, I understand that um, they're the low bidder. Um, and it may be cumbersome to look at each line item, but some of them seem to be extraordinarily high uh, when it's a line item. For instance, the brick paver removal and replacement, they are three times what the two other competitors would be on that first page. Um, and then the frames and grates to be adjusted, it's uh, you know a third more, um, and the mobilization is it, one of them it's six times more than one of them so I'm a bit confused do you do you question a line we, um, yes we look over each line item and what we're looking for is an unbalanced bid and there there are occasions in which a contractor may um, it's called unbalancing the bid in order to put all their profit and overhead into one item or to put all their profit and overhead into maybe some of the things that are done earliest so that they get cash up front and the things that happen later are basically subsidized by the things that were done earlier. So we do look at that. Um, there, it's, it's not uncommon for there to be a lot of volatility in some of the more small line items, particularly things that are done by subcontractors. So uh, that might be landscaping work, that might be things like the brick paper replacement adjustment or the storm sewer work, because those are being done by subcontractors. So the general contractor goes out and gets prices from his sub, they mark it up some amount, and so as the prices from the subs vary, the prices in, in these vary accordingly. And, and maybe well, some of them can do it in-house then. And maybe and some of them can do it in-house. Okay. And what, so what we're really looking for are the big items, which in this contract is, that's the milling. That is the mobilization, which includes costs for uh, having the little boy trucking equipment and all the subcontractors and all the contractors heavy equipment delivered to the site. Uh, and then move, since we have four different sites here, move from location to location. Most of that equipment has to be uh, put on the low boy articulated tractor trailer. Uh, and so what we're looking for is a, is a differential in the balance between those big ticket items. Uh, if we find that, then we disqualify that bidder. The variation that we've identified in these cases is not atypical. Uh, and we look at it from our perspective as well to make sure that we estimate all the quantities, we measure everything in the field, and so we know where we expect a little bit of deviation, and we know when we where our quantities are precisely correct. And so we make sure that we're covered as a hedge against that as well. Thank you. Just to note that it did come under under bid. Yes, it's just under the engineering <coughs> and within Lightly. the and within the uh, budget amount. Paul, who do you have direct experience with working with in the past? I have personally worked with all of these contractors. Uh, the contractors that are listed of the five 
The only one that I haven't worked with at Burr Ridge is Crowley Shepherd, uh, but they are a frequent bidder. All of these bidders are significant construction operations in the Chicago area. I've worked with all of them. Central Blacktop is adequate. They've, I've never run across a contractor I've been more than satisfied with, but um, they're all qualified to do the work. Yeah, yeah I recognize uh, several of the names. K-5 was a, a family a family uh, uh, company, as I recall. I'm not certain about that. Central Blacktop did the project last year. K-5, I think, did it a year or two before that. Chicago Land and Brothers have both done it within the last six years as well. Gotcha. Any other questions of uh, Paul? Okay. Uh, may I have a motion to approve 8A, uh, consideration of recommendation to award contract for the 2015 road program? So moved. Second. Do I have a second? <coughs> Roll call, please. Trustee Francis? Yes. Trustee Paveza? Yes. Trustee Bolas? Yes. Trustee Ruzak? Yes. Trustee Grasso? Yes. Motion passes 5 0. Under other considerations for announcement, deliberation, and or discussion only, any no official action will be taken. Yes, <clears throat> in front of you, you have uh, a memo from me in the uh, Economic, Development, Economic Development Plan Subcommittee. Um, uh, we discussed this at our, our first meeting, um, and we would like uh, all the board members and all the Economic Development Committee members uh, to uh, complete this questionnaire. Um, I wanted to just have it for you in hard copy so you have it uh, in front of you. What this does is uh, ask, we're asking you to de determine the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats as they relate to economic development in Burr Ridge. Uh, the questionnaire includes a general overview section and sections for each of the various business sectors, including office manufacturing, retail, restaurants, and hotels. Um, once we collect this data, we'll collate it, present it to the Economic Development Plan Subcommittee for their review. Uh, and then eventually we anticipate that we would hold a joint meeting uh, and we would use this data as a jumping off point uh, in bringing um, the two groups together uh, in a joint planning session. So this kind of helps move this uh, um, exercise uh, forward uh, as, we, as we go through this process. So I'm asking that you fill this uh, questionnaire out and have it uh, back at my attention by uh, March 30th. If you have any questions, feel free to, to contact me. As I say, this is something that the committee would like you to complete so that they can uh, work on uh, several things that uh, are related to that. And you know I'm going to ask you to put it electronically on SharePoint? Well, you know what, we talked about that. Um, and we, as you know, we're in the process of, of revamping our website, a whole new software, which, which is going to have some really nice, powerful tools in it to be able to do questionnaires uh, online. Unfortunately, the current software we have, we wouldn't be able to do it. Um, and so we're about a month, a month and a half away from being able to do that, and I don't want to wait. And that's why we didn't do it. But I'm just saying, if you put I the word document. I could send this to you just, yeah, the just word as document a Word document. We just fill it out and email it back. Yeah, OK. Well, we could, that I can certainly do for you. Uh, but as I say, you know, there's some really nice tools that we're going to be able to have that are <clears throat> that we'll have available uh, within the next couple months. Uh, and, I, and I really would have liked to have used it for this situation. It would have been perfect. Um, but we're just not quite there yet. Yep. Trustee Francis. Yes, thank you. This is the, just the first step in, of many steps in developing this economic development plan for the village. And we, looking forward, we plan to consult uh, business leaders as well in the community and get their firsthand input as to uh, how they feel about the village and the business environment that, we, that they live and work in. So uh, we appreciate everybody's um, help and support in completing this questionnaire. Thank you. Any other announcements? OK, move on to the audience portion once again. Anyone from the audience would like to address the board at this time? See no one on any reports and communications from any village officials? Thank you. I read with interest an article in the Tribune about various communities in the area who suggest that those that are making a purchase or selling an item, especially a large item, on Craigslist or through the newspaper, they could make their exchange at the police station. 
Um, so I asked Chief <clears throat> Madden, and he says, yes, we have had people make the transaction selling a car or whatever at the village station, so they don't have any concerns about the safety of a stranger coming to their home. So I'm thrilled to announce that we are participating and doing a like transfer. Also, the chief says that if um, a couple, an ex-couple is um, exchanging a child for custody reasons, um, back or forth, they also do that at the, tra at the police station. So um, thank you for, for that service. It's, it is a definite service to the committed community. Okay, anyone else? What do you, you want to mention the meeting that we, we attended today, just the, the highlights of it? Well, I know we'll be covering more in the budget, but... Well, you can if you don't. Okay. Actually, this afternoon, uh, Steve Stricker and I attended a, a meeting downtown in the, at the Michael Blandick building. It was the Illinois Senate Appropriations Committee meeting to discuss uh, the governor's Rauner's uh, uh, budget proposal to decrease our our LGDF fund by 50 percent. It was it was open. It was open, it was a really well-run discussion. Uh, a number of a uh, number of people were there to uh, testify, uh, and a lot of pros and cons that, and weighing out uh, what what might end up coming down the pike you know, down the road. Uh, probably 100 people attended between elected officials, uh, village administration, lobbyists, etc. Uh, but uh, it was. I think it was overall showed a lot of positive signs uh, on it, uh, and uh, not just in the, in the potential movement of the of what that number is, but also what other relief that they might might uh, uh, I, I would almost say barter for or barter with to help out the municipalities uh, that will be most affected. So, anything else? I have something else, but not on that subject. I just want to remind everybody that um, we've had to move the Economic Development Committee a couple of times. Uh, then the, uh, the current date, uh, which hopefully will stand, is uh, Wednesday, March 25th, and uh, that is the meeting where Opus will be um, present to uh, uh, give us uh, their presentation on, on some of the ideas that they have in, in enhancing the, uh, the Village Center. Um, it'll be held in this room. Public is certainly welcome. It's our regular Economic Development Committee meeting, but uh, that's going to be the main item for discussion uh, um, for that evening. So I just want to make sure everybody is aware of that. Okay, may I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Roll call. Trustee Grasso? Yes. Trustee Beveza? Yes. Trustee Bolas? Yes. Trustee Ruzak? Yes. Trustee Francis? Yes. We will now be moving to a budget, uh, budget meeting. It is a public meeting, but uh, it will not be televised. We thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, this meeting is officially adjourned. <laughs>